Yesterday, I was stopped by the Policia here in Mexico. I got pulled over by the Mexican police, and you'll never guess why. In all of the driving that I've done all over the world, I have never been pulled over by the police. In fact, I've very rarely been pulled over by the police at all, even in my own country. I was forewarned by several people never to give my driver's license to the Polizia, and that was exactly what he was asking for. The reason I was pulled over? I went through a yellow light. I have to say, being pulled over for running a yellow light seems very Mickey Mouse compared to some of the very dangerous and flagrant infractions that I see on the roads here almost every single minute. Realistically, once the green light starts flashing, there's very little time to get through the intersection before the light turns yellow. In my opinion, this was just a classic shakedown. Apparently going through a yellow light is a fine of 1,600 pesos or about $90 Canadian. Strangely, or not so strangely, the police officer didn't speak any English. Now fortunately, I speak a little Spanish and tried to do some negotiations with him. I told him I was on the way to pick up my mother-in-law from the airport, which was true, and that I was running late. I also told him that I was unaware of this rule, I'm a Canadian, first time driving in Mexico, and that I wouldn't do it again, would he let me off with simply a warning? He just kept insisting that the fine was 1600 Mexican pesos and that I was to give him my driver's license. I was not giving him my driver's license. I was told by the rental car agency if I were ever be pulled over by a police officer that I was to call them and they would speak to the officer directly. Under no circumstances was I to give over my license. Well, I tried calling the rental car agency, but I did not know the Mexican country code and therefore did not get through. I was provided another option by the police officer. That was to have the license plates removed from the vehicle, return to the rental car agency, and then have the fine increased from 1,600 Mexican pesos to 2,400 Mexican pesos, or from about 125 Canadian to 140 Canadian. Did he think I was crazy? I suggested to him that perhaps 500 Mexican pesos would help to forget the whole thing, and he was in agreement. However, when I went in my billfold, all I could find was a $1,000 bill. A thousand Mexican pesos equates to about $60 Canadian, which I actually found still to be very rich. I handed over a thousand Mexican peso note and asked for change, but of course, he didn't have any change. Rechecking my billfold, I actually found a 500 Mexican peso note. So in the process of handing him the 500 Mexican peso note, I grabbed the thousand Mexican peso note back out of his hand. I am sure that some of you are thinking that paying 500 Mexican pesos to get out of a ticket still seems like an exorbitant amount of money. I've heard some say that 200 Mexican pesos or about $12 will get you out of a fine. That being said, I only had 10s and 20s, 500s and 1000s in my wallet. What was I to do? Now I can only speculate that the reason that the police officer didn't push back when I grabbed back the 1000 peso note was because he was in the middle of a bribe and he was in no position of leverage. After all, what was he going to do? Was he going to call the police to say that I had grabbed the 1000 peso note that was part of a bribe back from him? I don't think so. Now, by no stretch of the imagination, am I condoning bribing a police officer anytime, anywhere. But in this particular case, things just didn't add up. I think this was the officer's ploy all along. Pull over somebody for performing a minor infraction and hope that person offers them a bribe to get out of the ticket. I watched that officer pull away, go down to the next intersection and set up, and I suspect it was for the very same reason, to catch somebody performing a minor infraction and then hope that that person who gets pulled over offers them a bribe to get out of that ticket. So in talking to a couple of locals about this and asking them what I should have or could have done differently in this case, they gave me the following advice. One, I should have asked the police officer to go to the police station to pay the fine. I guess if they are a corrupt police officer, the last place they want to go to take a bribe is to the police station. Two, I shouldn't have carried so much money in my billfold. Carrying just a couple hundred pesos in the wallet would be fine and putting the rest of the money somewhere else is suggested. Lastly, if the police officer doesn't want to go to the police station, in all likelihood they are corrupt. Just mention that you have a couple hundred pesos in your billfold. This is not a bribe, it's just simply stating a point. That couple hundred pesos in your billfold might just be enough to work it out with the police officer so you're not charged with the ticket. 